All right, ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to show you HubZone, how to search and see if you are in a HubZone. Uh, HubZone is a very important set aside because of the lack of competition. There's only 4,300 HubZone vendors, if I remember correctly, 4,100, 42 HubZone vendors worldwide. They get the same 3% that 16,000 service disabled veterans get. 3% uh, doesn't sound like a lot, but we're talking about 3% of the entire federal budget. It's a lot of money, and it's shared with only 4,100 vendors. Kind of like the 8A with 5,300 vendors. Um, so we're going to take a look at how do you search and see if you are in a hub zone. You're going to go to the hub zone map, which is the SBA's website. I don't want to reload it because it takes 10 minutes to load. It's an extremely slow website. You can either go to map.sba.gov forward slash hub zone forward slash maps, or you can Google hub zone maps and it'll take you right to the link. Once you're in the link, you're going to put in a physical address, city, state, zip code and search find or you can go to the state and you can search all the counties or you can find qualified counties or qualified tracks etc. Best way to do it is to put in your physical address. My physical address is 9400 4th Street North, St. Petersburg, Florida 33702. I've obviously searched it before because I auto loaded the windows. Click find and hurry up and wait. Again it's a slow system it's already telling me right now that it's not hub zone qualified and the area is gray which tells me it is not a hub zone, it's non-qualified. If the area is anything other than gray, if it's any other color, orange, yellow, blue, light blue, brown stripe, dark blue, red stripe, it is a hub zone. If it's gray, it is not. You can zoom out and see where your closest hub zones are by clicking the minus button and clicking on the map to zoom out. I can click it again to zoom out and again to zoom out and I can see there are some hub zones in my area now why are these hub zones chunks here and there come on reload you can do it don't crash there we go why are there hub zones here and there and not all areas Hub zones are based on several things. Hub zones are based on unemployment rates. Hub zones are based on poverty levels. I said in poverty. Sorry. Hub zones are based on poverty levels, uh, unemployment rates. They can be based on areas where there's been very little government business. Any area that is a major uh, government facility that has been closed, like a military base that has been closed. Any area that is Native American owned is considered a hub zone. So if you're in an area like Arizona or Kentucky or um, Oklahoma, New Mexico, uh, areas where there's a lot of Native American uh, reservations, those are all hub zones. And the thing about a hub zone is unlike the 8A, you don't have to wait one year or two years to get in a hub zone. You can do a hub zone, you can become a hub zone vendor as a startup company. as long as here we go as long as you're the owner 51 percent owner majority uh, you are a small business your principal location your primary office is in a hub zone 35 percent of your employees minimum live in a hub zone their house has to be in a hub zone and you cannot have been declined or decertified from the HUBZone program within one year of this date. So if you decide to self-certify in HUBZone and you fail and you're declined, you can't come to me and say, John Wayne, will you do this for me? I have to wait one whole year before I can process it. So if you're serious about doing the HUBZone, before you attempt it, get with me first and let me know, let me show you the ins and outs. Because if you, again, if you do it on your own and you fail or you're declined, I can't do it for you for one whole year from the date you were declined. Uh, also, this 35% of employees must live in the hub zone. If you're the only employee, if you're a one-man show and you have no employees, then your 35% of your employees do have to live in a hub zone, otherwise you do not qualify. So, uh, any questions, anything else you guys need, obviously reach out to me. You can reach me at my, on my direct dial. Uh, 
727-800-3012. You can reach my cell number, 727-678-3521. You can email me, jwayne at usfcrgov.com. If you, if you need anything government related, we do everything except taxes. If you need anything government related, reach out to me. Best if you're serious about it, let me know before you attempt it on your own because some of these programs, if you attempt them and you fail, uh, you're, you're going to have to wait a whole year before they can be attempted again. So even if you want me to do it for you, I can't if you try it on your own and failed. I'd also like to make a quick shout out to all my uh, followers, to all my uh, Facebook friends for following me on government contracts, for all my LinkedIn followers, almost 14,000 followers now. Thanks, guys. You guys are awesome. Keep it up. Um, to all my uh, Google followers and subscribers, you guys have gotten me over 22,000 views, almost 50,000 minutes of watch time. The average uh, view, what I've been told on YouTube is less than two minutes, and the average view on my videos is, is over 10 minutes. So I want to thank you guys. I mean, what else can I do for you? 727-800-3012. Thanks. Bye.